Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Today we are going to discuss on a topic called efficiently import masters and voucher from Google Sheet. Generally we find features to import data or masters from Excel, but uh, if you are using busy then you can get the feature to import the masters or the vouchers from Excel as well as from Google Sheet also. Today in this webinar we'll get to know how we can import data or masters from Google Sheet. So I'll try to uh, show you the entire process or to guide you in the process how to import the masters and vouchers in Google Sheet. So let's start this se session. If your data store in Google Sheet and you are worried about how to feed this data in to busy in lesser time. So don't worry, we have a solution for you. In busy, we have the feature to import data from Google Sheet, which allow the user to quickly import data from Google Sheet. Now coming on the steps to be followed. So let's have a quick look on the steps. First, you have to link the Google Drive with Busy. That means you have to mention your Gmail ID in Busy's configuration button or in configuration options through which your Google Drive will get connected with Busy. So you have to provide a certain authentication through your Gmail ID to get it connected with the Google Drive. Second, you have to set your column wise data. That means uh, whatever field you are going to import in busy, each and every field should be in a separate column in Google Sheet. Now to connect the field, that means you have to connect your busy data field with the Google Sheet column. That means uh, if your data field is needed to be get connected with the Google Sheet column, then it will be better to get imported properly in busy. And the last and the fourth step is to import data from Google Sheet. You have to put the Google Sheet URL link through which the data will get imported in the busy software. So let's see the practical demo, how we can import. First, I will show one by one. First, we will see uh, how we can import the item master list from Google Sheet in busy. So let me move on my screen to the busy software screen. So here, you can see under administration, whenever you open your company in busy software under administration, you will find an option called data export import. So under data export import, you will find an option to import masters from Excel as well as Google sheet. Okay. So uh, if I click on this item button, so from here I can import the item masters. So before going to import the item masters, let me show you the connectivity options from where you will connect your Google Drive with busy. So for that, you can go to administration, configuration, features and options. And then in general, you will find an option to mention your Gmail ID. So once you mention your Gmail ID over here, you click on this authorize button. It will, your screen will move on to the uh, sign in screen of your Gmail ID, where you will click on the continue button to get it authenticate. Okay. So as my mail ID has been already authorized. So it's saying that your Google authentication is successfully done. So you can right now upload your any invoice document in Google Drive or you can upload Google Sheet on Google Drive also. So once I press OK and I save this, my connectivity has been done. Now I can start the import, import process from administration, data export import, import master from Excel slash Google Sheet. Okay, so first we'll get to see the process how we can import the item list. So if I click on this item, let's say for example, uh, I having all these fields that is available in the busy software. So you are getting all the field related to item. Now here option is coming. Do you want to import from Excel or Google Sheet? So we are seeing the process to import the uh, masters from the Excel sheet. So once once you click on this Google Sheet, a help guide will appear in the screen to guide you in the sense key how you can import the data from Google Sheet. First step is to go to Google Drive and open busy image and document folder. That means uh, you can see in my screen, I have opened my Google Drive where you can get a folder called busy import. So in the folder options, you will find this busy import file folder. Once you double click over here, you will find all the company code. So in my busy, my company code is com0001. So in Google Drive, if you go to Google Drive, you will find the company code. Once you double click on the company code, you will find an import sheet name field. 
or you can find an import sheet file. So you have to open this sheet and whatever data you have or whatever data you need to import in busy, it may be item list, it may be a party list, all you can paste on this import sheet. And you, you can see in my screen that I have uh, put all the field related information in each and every separate columns. I mentioned the name in the A column, I mentioned the uh, item code in B column. So whatever field you need to import, make sure that each and every field should be in different columns okay, or in separate column. Next, uh, I'm coming on the busy screen, if I press OK. Now if I'm going to import item master first, so let me see in the sheet google sheet my item name is in the a column okay so first i have to map the field with the google sheet uh, column so if i said item underscore name okay so i have to select item underscore name field and i will map this with the actual or you can say the google sheet field that is uh, a because in my google sheet my item name is in the a column so i will map this with the a columns i click on this arrow sign so it get mapped so it, it's a one time task you have to do if if you in the next uh, time if you need to import it and the uh, fields are in proper uh, position or in the previously whatever field was in the column so in next uh, import you have kept on the same column then you no need to change the template so coming on the busy screen once again alias so i have to pick the item alias that is called item code so item alias in, in the b column i tag with b column next coming on the google sheet that is group okay so i will tag the group name that is the item underscore group field with c column okay now i will come on the another field called main unit okay so in busy i will tag with the item underscore main unit so it on D column. Next, uh, I will tag tax category. What type of tax category is for this particular item? So I will select the field name called tax underscore category name and I will tag with E column. Okay. Next, the HSN code, the item HSN code. So I will type uh, HSN code. It's on the F column. Next, I will tag sale price, that is item sale price. So I will type as item underscore sales price okay g column same if i want to pick the item uh, purchase price then I, I will also mention the field called item underscore purchase price so i tagged it with the h column now other field like mrp so i'm tagging mrp which is on the i column so i type as item i type as mrp item underscore mrp which is on the i column next i will tag opening stock that is item opening quantity so i will type item underscore opening that is opening stock main unit okay so i will select this field called opening stock main unit maybe your item may having two type of unit main unit and alternative unit your stock may be differ main unit and alternative unit so that's why i'm selecting uh, item opening stock main unit field so i've tagged this with, this with j column now i will select uh, opening amount of items so i will type the field called item underscore opening amount okay so it's on the k column so all the uh, field that i need to be get import in my busy software i have tagged with each and every field in busy okay now each and every column with busy now if i want to put the google sheet url how i can able to put this so for that you have to simply copy the address detail which is on the top you will find out you simply drag and you copy this spreadsheet link and then you go to busy and you paste over here okay now uh, you can mention the starting row and ending row if your starting row is from second because this is the heading row so you can't take this row you have to take it from this from where the item name has been typed has been started so i have taken second row up to seven so if i mention n row as seven and then i start this clicking on this import button if i press yes the item list will get import successfully okay 
but uh, i repeat once again make sure your google drive authentication has been done before you going to start this process that i have shown in the configuration you have to mention the gmail id and then you have to click on this authorize button so that uh, your gmail get authenticated with your google drive so it will allow you to click on the continue option to give an access of busy on the google drive after the process get completed you can come on this import item master from excel select google sheet to start your importing process okay so your item has been imported successfully if i want to see the item list i can go to administration master item list so i can see all my item name has been imported my item code has been picked my tax category has been picked my hsn detail has been picked okay now this is the process how i can import the item list now coming on the next process that is to import the accounts it may be a party list it may be a supplier list it may be a ledger list okay so how i can import the account let me show the process so for that i can come on the busy screen once again and i can come on to data export import options under data export import you will find import master from excel google sheet under that you will find another options called accounts okay so now uh, in case of accounts also uh, you have to tag the field with the or you have to map the field with the uh, columns so if i come on the google sheet uh, screen once again here if i click on this party list i have men mentioned all the party name also make sure the uh, make sure that whatever uh, sheet you have pasted in your uh, in, in your google drive in the busy import file folder your sheet name should be rename as import sheet or it automatically will remain import sheet or uh, automatically you will find the import sheet in the uh, uh, folder so you can simply uh, open the import sheet and you can paste your data over here or if you don't want to paste the data on your in the import sheet you can create a new sheet but make sure the name of that sheet should be rename as import sheet okay so this is the criteria that uh, whatever data you are going to import from google drive that sheet name should be rename as import sheet so uh, now i am going to show the process how you can import the party masters through google sheet in busy so here you can see my party name is on the e column so i will simply start the tagging process account underscore name so i will select account underscore name i will tag it with a column then account uh, groups so i will go to account i will select the field account groups i will select on the i tag with the b column then address line 1 so if i want to pick account address so there may be a different different address line if i want to pick address line 1 i will select address line 1 so if any party having two three address make sure that address each and every address should be on different column okay so this is a line 1 address this is a line 2 address so line 1 address i am tagging with c line 2 address i am tagging with d line 2 address in the d column line 3 address in in the e column so i'm typing 3 and i'm tagging this with the e column okay now line 4 address is on the f column so line 4 address i'm tagging with the f column now coming on the state so if i want to tag the state account underscore state acc underscore underscore state it is on the g column so i tag with g column now type of dealer gst type okay so i can select the gst type it's with the h column now gst and number so gst and number is on the i column now uh, aadhar number so aadhar number is on the j column it pan number it pan number is in the k column uh, word it may in the le column so i'm mentioning the field and tagging with l column email id so email id acc underscore email okay it's with m column so i tag with the m column now mobile number so mobile number is on the n column and whatsapp number whatsapp number is on the o column telephone number is on the p column so i'm tagging telephone number with the p column contact contact master name so contact detail is on the q column and transporter if if party wise transporter is fixed or i need to tag the transport detail also this is a transporter that is under r column pin code 
pin code is on s column credit days so if i want to mention the credit days also okay so credit days for sales maybe for purchase also so credit days for sales i have mentioned with t column and uh, credit days for purchase i am tagging with u column so these are all the field i have already tagged in busy now i can start the import process i will select here google sheet okay now i have to paste the url of google sheet so what is the url it you may uh, go through with this uh, url in the item list you will find a different url but the spreadsheet is similar is the same spreadsheet but uh, you are having different different sheet name that is item list party list so in party list your url will be different so if you click on this or you can drag it to copy the url you can right mouse click over here and click on this copy button and you come on busy to paste this url now starting row if you mention the starting row two and you mention the ending row as 13 you can mention it and you can click on this import process to start the process so again you can find out that uh, this party list has been imported successfully so we have uh, gone through with the import process of both item and accounts okay now we'll check or we'll look on how to import the dual vouchers that is the sales and the purchase vouchers from google sheet okay so coming on the busy screen once again so for that you can go to import voucher from excel slash google sheet and here you will find an option to import the purchase as well as the sales so you select the purchase you have to create a template first you click on this configure button you select the purchase you click on this add format button you mention any of the template suppose you mention the template name as uh, pur template okay so you select this you click on this configure so it's it will ask you that do you want to upload the default component of these vouchers or default template you want to upload the default template i said yes if i click yes then the template the field will picked by default and the default excel column will get tagged now i can change it how i can change it it depend on the uh, information that is available in my google sheet so i will come on the purchase sheet now uh, i can find out this my voucher series on the is on the uh, e column so it is not mandatory that you have to every time you have to put voucher series in e column you can put it on any of the column but the mandatory thing is that to map it with the field in busy so i am mapping the field with the excel column that is available available in my google sheet so voucher series i am tagging with a column voucher build it i am tagging with a b column so i have select over here b column okay voucher bill number it's on the c column already okay uh, purchase type or sale type you can say what kind of billing we are going to do it may be item wise billing it may be a gst type of gst billing you can say so it's called sales slash purchase type in business field so you are tagging this with d column now party name party name is on the e column okay after that your mc is on the f column so i am tagging this mc with f column item name item name is on the g column so item name you have tagged with g column quantity is on the h column so you have tagged this quantity you can get this field over here you can type it over here also quantity and you can tag with the google sheet column which is h column unit okay so unit is also uh, has been picked by default so it it has been tagged with i column so i'm tagging it with i column okay price so price uh, you are getting it under j column so i will tag it with the j column amount so amount which is tagged with the k column okay so this is the uh, you can say this is excluding of gst okay so this amount is excluding of gst so i'm picking just the product amount okay see uh, after that if i save this the template will get created and it's a one time task you have to do and uh, then you have to select the voucher type one second you can select get the format that you have created that is purchase template that the name i have given it it will display on this drop down list and you can select it over here now uh, you can click this add new voucher button now uh, you can uh, do one thing you can select this option called tax rate over here pick data from item master that means you already have uh, uploaded the item names along with the tax category 
so uh, system will auto calculate the taxation amount for that particular item if you click on this tax rate because your tax rate will get picked from the item master that is already in the data field or already in uh, that you have imported in busy that is already in the database now you can click on this auto calculate tax amount also so your tax rate will get picked from the item master database in busy and your tax amount will get calculated after getting import of the or vouchers okay now you select the google sheet and here is also showing the help guide that first you have to go to google drive and open the busy image and document folders as i am shown already in my uh, screen that uh, if you are going to open the uh, drive i am showing once again that uh, you can open the google drive so after getting open the google drive you will find an option that is you will find a under folder you will find a folder called busy image and document you have to double click over here you have to you will get an a folder called busy import file you double click over here you will find the company code so on which company you are going to import so you will find the company code over here you have to select the company code folder you can double click over here and under this company code you will find this import sheet you can open this import sheet and you can paste all your information on this import sheet by renaming this with different different sheet names okay now if i am going to import the purchase so for purchase i will select the url of the purchase sheet i will copy this so it's defer this url defer with the party list as well as item list also so if i am clicking on this purchase sheet i will get a different url google sheet url so i will copy this url and i will paste over in busy I will select here Google Sheet and I will get to paste the URL over here. Now I can select the starting row. So my starting row in my uh, import sheet is from second to thirteen. Okay. So I will basically provide the starting row second and I will mention the ending row thirteen. Okay. Now I will click on save button or I can press F two button to start the process. You can see my purchase voucher will get imported successfully. So four vouchers I have. uh mentioned in my sheet so this is the voucher number pv001 this is one voucher number this is one voucher number this is uh, this is second voucher number this is third voucher number and this is the fourth voucher number okay so four purchase entry has been get imported in my database so if i go to see the purchase i can go to purchase transaction purchase list if i go on screen and if i go to see i can press okay button to see the list of purchase if i press enter any of the purchase voucher let me show you that your taxes and detail has been calculated automatically your cgst sgst and it will match with your import sheet your taxable amount is showing 3 lakh 17000 so you can see my i have mentioned the taxable amount 3 lakh 17000 so is matching okay so total this four item taxable amount is 3 lakh 17000 and the total cgst amount sgst amount is 28530 28530 that has been calculated automatically so how it get calculated let me clear once again because you have already import this item master so when you import this item master at that time you mention the tax category so it get calculated from this item masters automatically because in in the import sheet you will uh, you will neither find any uh, percentage column you will not find any tax amount column so it getting calculated automatically in busy you no need to have any taxation percentage column or any tax amount column in the uh, google sheet or in excel sheet so it will get calculated if you import the item first with the tax category then it will get calculated automatically while importing the vouchers this is how i can uh, import the purchase now i will see how we can import the sale vouchers so i'll clicking on the sale sheet so for sale sheet a different U url will appear in the heading in the header part okay so let me move on to the busy screen and uh, let's come on the administration data export import import voucher from excel and here i will select the sale voucher type so for sale i will create a template so if i click on this configure i select the sale i click on add format so i mentioned the template like sales template so i can mention edit this name also template i click on this configure button now if i press yes then also the default template will get uploaded or will get uh, defined over here now i can match this template with my import sheet since sale in sale also i having voucher series in the a column so it's 
properly mapped a column voucher bill date is on b column so it also been properly mapped with the b column voucher bill number bill number is also in my c column i can get it and my sale purchase type is in d column it also mapped properly party name is in the e column okay so it has been also mapped mc name material center name is on the f column so as or you can see the go down name is on the f column item name is on the g column so it has been mapped with g column already on the default template quantity is on the h column okay so i'm tag this quantity with h, h column or unit unit is on the i column so i tag unit with i column price is on the j column and amount is on the k column so amount is also excluding of gst okay now if i save this template and if i'm going to try to import the sale from the google sheet i select the sales template format now same way that i've done in purchase also i can i will select this tax rate that so that the tax percentage should get picked from the item database and auto calculate amount i select tax amount okay now i select google sheet and i will put the google sheet url so i will copy this url okay for the sales the url is different so i will copy this url and i will paste in busy over here control v i can press control v to paste over here and i can mention the starting row my starting row is second and my ending row is 24 so I mentioned the ending row as 24 and I press or I F2 button to start the import process. It's asking before going to import is asking that whether your voucher number should be manual in this sense. So if you are going to import any vouchers from Excel or Google Sheet, make sure that your voucher number should be in manual mode. Okay. So whatever voucher number that will be uh, defined in the, your import sheet that will get picked in your database. Now, if I go to see the sales list, I will go to transactions, sales screen. I can get the detail that you can see the voucher bill number, the item details, and also the taxation also get calculated automatically. So taxation detail also get calculated automatically in the vouchers. This is how you can upload the dual vouchers like sales and purchase from the Google Sheet in Busy. Now coming on the next uh, voucher process that is the payment receipt and journal so let's see how we can import payment receipt and journal from google sheet for that you have to go to the same process you have to go to data export import voucher from excel google sheet now let's say first we check how to import payment voucher so select payment voucher type payment now we will create a template for the payment we select the payment we click on add format and we mention template like PAY slash T-E-M-P-L-A-T whatever name you want to give uh, it doesn't matter you have to create a format so that you under that format you can set a template or you can set a tagging or mapping of the field so now if I click on the default you will find the default template has appear now uh, if I come on to the uh, import screen if I click on this payment I will find that in payment also my voucher series is on the A column. So in busy I will tag with A column. Okay, the voucher bill date is on the B column. So I will tag with, uh, in busy I will tag with B column. Voucher bill number is on the C column. So it's also same similar in the import sheet. It's on the C column. Voucher bill number means the payment voucher number. Okay, account name debit. So account name debit. If I want to say that here only account name is written, I will change the field i can mention this account name uh, debit so in the import sheet my account name debit field is different and my account name credit column is also different so i'm tag the account name debit with the d column okay so i can click over here right mouse click over here i can click on this insert row to insert another uh, field so it's a part of body field in the payment voucher so i will select body field and under body field if i press enter then i will get all the field list now i will type account or acc underscore name credit i have mentioned name debit i will also mention account name credit so account name credit because we find out that any ledger is going to debit so automatically another ledger or the opposite ledger should be on credit side so this is the opposite ledger credit so i will tag it with e column okay 
now amount debit so amount is amount is also in the debit and same amount is also in the credit column so i'm tagging this amount debit with e column and amount credit with f column okay other information like say instrument type instrument means say if you want to mention the check details or the uh, the uh, you can say the rtgs or the nft details that is called instrument type uh, what or the type of payment you are giving you may be doing rtgs or you may be doing a nft so what type of uh, payment you are going to do so you can take this as account instant type so say this instant type will be on h column and then you can select body field one second and you can select account stand number the uh, reference number the imps number the check number the rtgs number whatever so this is called instrumental number so it, it is on the i column so i tag it with i save this template so once i save this template i will select on the voucher type one second if i press enter then i will get the select format also that i've created now if I want to import it from Google Sheet, I will select Google Sheet and I will paste the URL. So for pasting the URL, I will copy the URL. So the URL is this one. I will copy this and I will in busy, I will paste it on the Google Sheet URL. Now my starting row. So my starting row is second and my ending row is uh, five. So I will mention starting row second and ending row. I will mention five and I will press F2 button to start the import process. Here our option is coming that invalid amount serial number one is coming. That means if you are going to import any uh, vouchers, you have to figure out or you have to check out whether you have properly tagged the templates or not. So if you find out this, that in the uh, payment vouchers or in the payment template, your amount, amount debit and amount credit field is not coming properly. That means amount debit is in, if it is in the, if it is in the F column, then you have to tag it with F column. Okay, so you can see I have done a mistake over here. I have to tag it with the F column. Okay, so you can rectify in this way also. Now my amount credit is on the G column. So I have to tag it with G column. Right now it's okay. Now I can save this and I, I can again start the process to import. So I no need to uh, paste the Google sheet once again. It will get, uh, it, will, it will remain in the help list. Now if I start the process with f2 button you get import successfully so this is how you have you can import the payment vouchers if i go to see the payment list i can get to see the payment details so here you can see all the information has been came the voucher number the debit ledger name the credit ledger name the debit amount the credit amount the instant type okay so these are the instant type the instant number the instrumental number it also has been came in the entry module Similar way, if I'm going to import the receipt voucher, I will go to same process. I will select the voucher type here, receipt, and I will create a format for receipt also. So as I've already created a template, I can modify this also. Click on this configure. I can change the, or I can map with the import sheet. So here my voucher series is on the A column. I will tag this series with A column. Voucher build date, that means the receipt date. So receipt date is on the B column. So I will tag with this B column. Receipt number. Receipt number is on the C column. So I will tag with this C column. Uh, account name debit. So here also you will find uh, account name debit and account name credit. So account name debit is on the E column. So I tag this with E column. Account name credit is on the D column. So this is the account name credit. Uh, sorry, this is the account name credit, which is on the D column. So you can tag this with D column. Now similar way, amount debit and amount credit. So amount debit column is F. So I tag with the F and amount credit column is G. I will tag with G and I save this template. Other information like instrument and type, instrument and number, if you want to insert or you want to import, then you can get it from here also from body field that ACC underscore this instrument type. Now you can select the instrument type column that is H you type it H and the uh, instrument number column that is I so number which is I okay I save this template I modify this template now if I will once again click on this voucher type received and I will select the format name or the template name now I, I click on this Google sheet and I have to paste the Google sheet URL so for uh, receive the URL will be different so I will 
if i click on this receive sheet then this url will appear in the top so we'll click the i will select this url we'll copy this url and we'll go on busy screen or move on to busy screen i will paste this url on the google sheet url field now starting row uh, in uh, my import sheet my starting row was second and my ending row is five so in busy i will mention the starting row second and ending row five and i will press f2 button to get it import and i will click on this yes button or i will press enter in the keyboard to start the import process so you can see the four vouchers have been import successfully now if i want to see the receive vouchers i will go to transaction receive list and uh, here we enable these options called show bank instrumental detail it will show the instrumental detail also along with the informations the instrumental type the instrumental number is all are coming the google sheets now uh, like receive payment if i need to import the uh, journal also so i can get it import uh, in busy so for journal also the process is similar i have to go to import voucher from excel google sheet which is under data export import and here i have to select it voucher type journal and i will click on this configure button and for journal i will also create a template i click add format suppose i mention the template name as j okay so i select this j i click on this configure i press yes to upload the default template so if i if my import sheet is similar to my default template let me match it out so i find out that the voucher series in my import sheet uh, for the journal is also in e column so it has been mapped it has been tagged with e column voucher bill date or you can say the uh, journal date which is on the b column so i tag with b column uh, voucher bill number or you can say general number general voucher number which is on the c column tag it c column account name account name is in the d column so i tag with d column okay now amount that is the amount uh, debit and amount credit so amount debit is in the e column amount credit is in the f column okay now uh, if i need to uh, import other information like like uh, any other information like short narrations or anything else so i can uh, mention the short narration also if i have put, uh, if i have mentioned certain short narration in my import sheet then i can tag it with or else i can remove it if i need to remove this row i can click on over here i can route click on the right mouse and i can click this delete row or i can press f9 to delete the row i can save the template so now i have created the general template and if i click on this google sheet it will ask me to put the url for that general voucher so for the general my url comes this so i copy this okay with this general url and i paste on the google sheet url field and uh, my starting row is second and my ending row is nine so i will mention starting row second and ending row i will mention nine okay press f2 button to start the process click on this yes button here you will find another error is coming invalid account name the reason why it's coming let me clear once again that means uh, there may be a certain uh, uh, error may appear in your screen because if your master is not available in the database that means if your ledger is not available in the database and you are importing the entries let's say for example your uh, this office rent ledger is not available in in your database but you are importing uh, against this office rent so at that position your error will appear because software can't find this ledger name so against which it can create a entry for you or it can import the entry against that particular ledger so make sure that uh, your ledgers should get import first or your ledger should get create first then you can uh, or then you can start the import process of your voucher there is a, another alternative way that is if you say that i i i can create or i need to create the ledgers directly from uh, the import of vouchers then here you will find an option to create new masters so if you click on this create new masters and if you tag any any group for this particular ledger that is not been created uh, previously and if you start the process once again right now you will find no error will come on the screen because it will automatically create the ledger that will not be available in the screen 
or not be available in the database okay so any ledger that right now you can see this four vouchers will import successfully why this message has came because i have selected this option called create new master using used in voucher that means it will create the ledger name also if you are going to import the voucher from the google sheet or excel if that in that voucher if any ledger system found or a software found which is not available in the database earlier then it will make it create for you directly from the import voucher process if you enable this option at that moment no error will appear or no uh, transaction will remain unuploaded or unimported okay if you use this feature so it will get get it uh, created uh, uh, the ledger automatically during importing the vouchers we go to see the journals find the all the journals has been imported successfully and uh, uh, if if the ledger was not created previously it will get created directly from the import once you import the uh, vouchers from google sheet or excel the ledger will also get created automatically okay. so if you click that create options while importing the vouchers if you click that create a uh, new master using in voucher then only it will uh, get it create for you okay so this is how simply you can uh, import your masters as well as vouchers so that's all from my side anybody having any questions doubts can share his questions and queries on the qa chat box